How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams and over here we talk stocks and we focus on one thing. Always protect your profits. Also got to put in the disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor and this isn't financial advice. So just know when you do invest, you're doing it at your own risk. And you know what time it is. It is time for the joke of the day. If you're new to this channel, just want to let you know we do this five days out of the work week. Maybe you had a long, maybe you had a stressful day, or maybe it was the market conditions when you came to watch this video, plus hear one of my corny jokes. Here it comes. Why did the picture go to prison? Because it was framed. Not too bad. But anyways, what we're gonna be talking about today is OCGN. Of course, I got some updates, so we're gonna be going over it. But before we get started, we have to go over the agenda. If you're new to this channel, I just wanna let you know, we have timestamps down below in the description. But if you are a shareholder, or you're thinking about taking a position, I suggest you watch this full entire video. So the first thing we're gonna be going over is a big time update coming from Barat Biotech. I know you guys are going to be looking forward to this. Secondly, we're going to be going over an update from OCGN. And then third, we're going to be going into a technical analysis, taking a look at the overall price action. OCGN showed a lot of strength today, which was something that was great to see, but we want to see what are those areas of support? What if it pulls back? Where do you want to see it hold up and where it could start looking very bullish? Then we're going to be taking a look at the short interest information. And then when all of that is done, We'll be jumping into the final thoughts as well as some more key details. Now, let's get started with the first update. Barat Biotech submits Covaxin Phase 3 clinical trial data to the DCGI. Covaxin is one of the three vaccines being used in India's vaccination program against COVID-19 currently. The company has been facing questions over the delay in announcing results of the Phase 3 trials. Hyderabad-based biotechnology company Barat Biotech has submitted Phase 3 clinical trial data of its COVID-19 vaccine Covaxin to the Drugs Controller General of India. Covaxin is one of the three vaccines being used in India's vaccination program against COVID-19 currently. The company has been facing questions over the delay in announcing the results of the Phase 3 trials. Barat Biotech submitted Phase 3 clinical trial data of Covaxin to Drugs Controller General over the weekend news agency ANI said, quoting government sources. So you can see there quickly from the image. Trial data for the Phase 3 is crucial as it will provide details of the efficacy of the vaccine, which was developed in association with the Indian Council of Medical Research. Phase 3 trial data is also required for getting emergency use listing for the World Health Organization, which is WHO. WHO has accepted Barat Biotech's expression of interest for EUL for Covaxin and scheduled a pre-submission meeting on June the 23rd, which we've covered already as well. Earlier, the company had said it will submit the data to drug regulator followed by peer-reviewed journals with a timeline of three months for publication. Complete results of Covaxin's phase three trial data will be made public during July. In March, the vaccine makers said Covaxin demonstrated 81% interim efficacy in preventing COVID-19 in those without prior infection after the second dose. In January, the DCGI had granted permission for emergency use of Covaxin based on its phase one and phase two clinical trial data. Data. So this is definitely some great news to hear coming from Barat Biotech in regards to the phase three trials. So the fact that it's been submitted, now the next thing we have to look forward to, like they were talking about, is what the arrangement is going to be or what the decision is going to be coming down with who. We do know as far as July is concerned, it's going to be a big time month. And I feel that's also going to have an impact on the OCGN stock as well. Now for the next update, this is from Ocugen's Twitter. Today we welcome Ken Lohushti. I hope I said his name correctly. I probably butchered that. To Ocugen as head investor relations and communications. He will oversee investor relations, corporate communications, and strategic positioning. Learn more about Ken and what he brings to the Ocugen team here. So I'm going to try to say his name again from what we see inside the image. Welcome to the Ocugen team, Ken Inchowski, Head Investor Relations and Communications. So this is definitely some great news from OCGN. Many were saying, well, you know what? They need to improve their overall communications. And they went out there and they made sure they brought in the right expertise. So this is something to definitely be proud of. And it shows that they are making those moves in the right direction 
to improve their operations and also their relationship with their investors. So now let's jump into the technicals and as well as taking a look at the short interest and then I'll give you guys my final thoughts and more details. So we're going to be doing a technical analysis for OCGN. Let's see how it performed on the day. So we ended up closing at $7.40 being up 12.63% on the day. On the low it tested $6.28 and on the high testing $7.55. So first and foremost we want to see how it's lining up with our indicators. So as you can take a look down below RSI is right around 44 so it's still in that oversold territory getting close to being right in the middle around 50 but for the most part it is oversold. Now if we take a look at the 200 day definitely we have some strength above that and we're also below the 100 day and as well as the 21 day EMA which will be very interesting is seeing OCGN actually reclaim the 21 day EMA right here at $7.79 so if it gets around $7.80 I'll be looking forward to seeing that move getting to the 100 day right here around $8.40 but one thing to take notice of we looked and said hey six dollars is an area of support and as well it was holding down doing a great job holding up around 650 we saw it got down to 628 but then we ended up having a strong move where it ended up getting to a high of seven dollars and 55 cents so as far as what this looks like i want to see ocgm being able to hold up this seven dollar level i feel like this is a very key level for ocgm to hold up if it's able to do this then we can look forward to seeing a strong move and reclaiming the 21 day ema and essentially reaching the 100 day if it is not able to do that then of course we want to see how well it will continue to hold up where it is shown to have support right at that 650 level so we're gonna have to be patient and of course if we get certain news or any type of a catalyst you already know this will send this stock right into the double digits being at ten dollars or above so we're on fintel we're going to take a look at the short interest information for ocgn so we can see from the short volume ratio it is at 16 percent this is actually something that is good to see here so what does this look like so this is taking into consideration the close from friday so out of 22.6 million shares that were traded 3.6 million of these shares were actually sold short so as we scroll down on the page short shares availability stands at zero when i looked at i borrow actually though there were 200 shares available and as far as for the short ball free rate it was also at 82.5 percent so right now they're not showing it on fintel but this gives you a perspective of how things are looking as far as for the short volume ratio you we could see on the day which was on the Thursday it was at 19.72 we also see on the 16th it was at 20.78 so we have shorts that are covering their positions here so as long as we continue to see strength in OCGN stock in regards to buying pressure we're gonna have more shorts covering even more so it'll be very interesting to see how what it looks like later on in the evening but just taking that into consideration that the short ball free rate from like what I'm seeing is at 82 and a half percent and the short shares availability is at 200 it's gonna be very interesting to see what this actually looks like especially for the stock going in for the rest of this week so for my final thoughts for OCGN definitely some great price action that we saw inside of the market today as we know there are going to be going into the Russell and there's definitely some institutions that have been buying in to make sure they have their positions but do keep in mind there's going to be a lot more volatility but like I was saying in the technical analysis it'll be great to see if OCGN can hold up that seven dollar area in regards to support but if it does decide to pull back further we know that it should be able to hold up 650 now taking a look at the short interest information yes we've had some shorts who have covered their positions this is something that is really good to see and it's improving the overall market sentiment towards OCGN another thing to bring up and also it's kind of you know it's kind of related actually so we know there was recent news that came out over the weekend in regards to mRNA vaccines and most definitely we're going to be talking about AstraZeneca efficacy ratings are actually known to be fairly terrible when those trials were actually being followed up so what does this mean yes on a global stage we need COVID vaccine we're seeing as far as mRNA is concerned yes we do have Pfizer we do have Moderna but everything else needs 
needs to take a backseat. Kovacs needs to come in and really start to get out there, especially for the younger age groups. And there have been studies and there have been things going on underway that have shown, hey, Kovacsin is showing strength, especially when it comes to different types of variants as well. You see the Delta variant is now popping up. I feel like Kovacsin can show some strength towards that as well. And it also does show, you know what? We need to have some more innovation. We need to actually prioritize putting the word out there that Kovacsin needs to be taken more seriously. We know they're taking steps in the right direction. We know that Brat Biotech is getting the data that's available that who's going to need because they know that is crucial for the vaccine passport. But also just to keep in mind, yes, there's a lot of vaccines out there in circulation, but Covaxin, like we said previously, can definitely set up a great niche for itself overall in general. So if you are in this particular play, you need to have high conviction because there's going to be a lot of volatility that's going to be coming with it. And to the next point for Ocugen, it is great to see that they're actually listening to their investors. They're making sure they have the right people in place, not only in regards to making sure they have a successful launch of Covaxin in the US and as well as Canada, but also listening to shareholders and saying, hey, you guys need to communicate better. And they're like, hey, you know what? Yes, you're right about that. We're gonna make sure we bring in the right expertise. And what more can you really ask for? So for now, we just have to continue to be patient, look forward to seeing what that data looks like in regards to July. And as far as who is concerned, I'm very positive about how that's gonna to turn out. And like I said, I want to see Covaxin on a global stage. I know many of you actually feel the same way. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll be talking real soon.